Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Rick Jackson. Rick? Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Good. I'll grab the cameras I usually do. And uh, thank you. And Rick, tell me what, uh, come with me. Tell me what we have here today well, we got at a, the show. We got a 1969 Dodge Super B with a 426 Hemi, which makes it a pretty rare car. They only made 38 with a four speed and uh, what we call a coupe or a post car. So they only made 38 of them in 1969 with that engine and transmission combination. So let's take a look at the details. That's coming at you. And let me zone in on the Coronet Super B emblem. There we go. And I'm gonna get a little closer to the car just because there's some kind of fun stuff besides the Mopar. You see this wonderful 69 detail, and I'll zone in on that. So for those of you who like all that detail, you can feel free to read all that. Later, I'll start at the top and give you the chance to read that at your own leisure, and you can pause and stop that anytime you want. So we've got the Hemi Super B. There is the close-up on the logo. And the other thing that makes this car so unique is the fact that we've got the Hemi badge. Now that came on the hood with the hood scoop, and this hood scoop's functional. Correct. Correct. And these are the steel rims that come with it, originally from the factory. Rick, how long have you had this car? Uh, I got the car in 1995. 95, and you've restored it. When did you start Correct. restoring it? I started restoring about 97, and it was about a two-year process, about a year to take her apart and run down parts and then get the body uh, straightened out and repainted. We really didn't have to do a lot to the body other than repaint it. I'm going to get a shot. Stay with me. We're going to get a shot of the entire side of the car. And there we go. And Rick, you mentioned it. Let's get closer to the car again. You mentioned the post. Tell me Correct. about the post. Well, the post. First of all, the front window, we've got the wonderful venting, as you can see. And the post gives us the back window. Which venting, venting pops in and out as opposed to rolling up and down. So. Right. Okay. So tell me about the post car. Well, the post is here. The post car, right, was a little bit cheaper version. It was uh, cheaper to make, and it was a favorite with the drag racers because it weighed a little less than mm. a hard top. Okay. And uh, so instead of a hard top, you would just have window on window with no post in there. So that's why a lot of people call them coupes or post cars either. Okay. Yeah. Come with me, and let's take a look at. Our Super B logo. Let's take a look at the back. Take one step back. There's the back. Dodge. And there was no Super B on the back. No Super B emblem on the back. Oh, there should be one? Okay, all right, there should be one. There's a missing one. All right, okay. Good eye. You have a good eye. All right. There you go. Let me just open up. Let's take a look at the inside. Very standard metal on vinyl door. The bench seat. The bench seat, the pedals. And let's take a look at the bench seating. A lot of room in the back. And a cool little Super B that Rick's got back there. And the standard Hearst 4-speed. There's the Hearst 4-speed. Let's take a look at this dash. Here we are. We've got the lights, the panel, the flashers, on and off. We've got the clock. Tick-tock. Go ahead. Tick. Does it had a clock on the inside and a tack on the outside? Did not notice that, but you're right. And we've got that clock working, which is nice. So we've got fuel, temperature, pressure, alternator, washer. Looks like the original radio and the temp. And there's nothing in this car. There's that vent button right there, a brake release. Another vent here. There is nothing in this car, ashtray. There's nothing in this car that says Coronet, Superbird, or or Super B, or anything. Very, just basic. The basic, 
Yeah. We sold basically to street racers. Let's, drag, guys who wanted to drag. Let's take a look under the hood. That's, it. that's, that's, that's why. Why did you have to get a Hemi? Well, it's just if you're a Mopar guy, it's <laughs> kind of the ultimate engine. To that is. And there we go. The reason for the car. The 426. It's pretty easy to actually work on. Yeah. I mean, it does a lot of room. And there's the optional, but of course, with the uh, Hemi, it wasn't necessarily an option. The Ram Charger hood scoop that you see there. And the 426. With the hemispherical heads, as you can see, right there. The Mopar battery. So let's do this. Let's shut that hood. Rick's the next to your car. Stand right there. Rick, thanks for being on my car story. Thank you.